Snakes come in all shapes and sizes, from the impressively large black rat snake to the tiny species which are often no bigger than a pencil. Many varieties of these small serpents can be discovered on a backyard adventure or at a local park, and are often more common but harder to find than their larger relatives. In this video, I'm going to catch some of these minuscule reptiles and show you their awesome creature features and ecological importance. All right, everybody, this beautiful animal right here is the ringneck snake. Now you can tell how it got its name. You see right there by its head, it has that yellowish ring. Now the ringneck snake's neck ring can be many different colors, from the yellow you see here to an orange or red or even white. But any ringneck snake will have a complete neck band around that collar area. He's checking out the camera. He's a curious little thing. He, now, you see how his tongue is flooding out. He's just smelling the camera. He's, he's seeing what it is. He's not really upset about it. He's just interested. Now, ringneck snakes, obviously, as you can tell, are very curious. They're very small. He's probably only six or eight inches long, very thin. And he's just so silky to touch. Now, these snakes, you can see their underbelly is that orange yellow color just like a sunset and then their top is gray and i love that contrast but these snakes are often found under rocks and logs very small they'll get a little bit bigger than this but not by much yeah, they're about the same size as eastern worm snakes and rough earth snakes which are two other species that can be found under rocks and you won't see a ring snake a ring neck snake often usually they're underground where you can't see them <laughs> they're just so cool and he look at that he's just Checking out the camera. But what does a snake that is so small eat? Their diet is actually surprisingly diverse, and they have been known to consume insects, earthworms, salamanders, and even other ringnecks. Although these reptiles may seem innocuous upon first glance, they are actually hiding a deadly secret. Two hidden fangs are tucked away in the rear of a ringneck snake's mouth, and are too small to break human skin. However, the venom they secrete is certainly effective on invertebrates and salamanders. Once a ringneck snake catches and begins to chew on a prey item, the paralyzing toxins begin flowing from special grooves in the rear fangs. They often reserve use of this secret weapon when dealing with meals such as large salamanders or strong earthworms, which could otherwise prove too powerful for the snake to consume. Alright, here's ringneck snake number two. Found this guy under a rock as well. He's about the same size as the other one. Maybe a tad bit bigger than the last one we found. They're just gorgeous. I love these snakes. These guys are so pretty. Now here's Brooks. Brooks Wild is my Scoop. little sister. Uh, she is trying to start a YouTube channel of her own called Wildlife Scoop. You can go check that out if you want. But uh, we're trying to get her acclimated to snakes. We're trying to teach her to how to handle them properly. Yeah, I like animals. I think they're really cute and stuff. Yeah. So there she goes. Teaching Brooks. Now, how old are you, Brooks? I'm eight. Eight. We're teaching Brooks, the eight-year-old, how to hold snakes. A ringneck snake is a great starter snake. When you're trying to teach kids, ringneck snakes, earth snakes, worm snakes, and garter snakes are all good choices. These for, don't bite. Yeah, because they don't bite. So these are all good choices for teaching kids. And Brooks, Brooks loves snakes, and she's doing real good right now. See, the snake is calm. Just knotted up like that. It's really cool. So Brooksy is now learning to hold snakes. So guys, this is just a really cool animal. I love handling these kind of snakes. If you ever do see one by chance, definitely you should not kill it because they're just curious animals and they're just as afraid of you as you are of them. Gorgeous, gorgeous animal. I'll get them back under this rock. Now whenever you find these snakes, make sure you put them back under the rock they came from because that's their home and he knows he's home. We'll drop him back. He's right under there. So cool. Thank you all so much for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and tell me why in the comment section below. And if you didn't, please let me know what I can improve on. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe right now for more educational wildlife content. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.